Hey peeps, welcome to the Crafty Witch UK. My name is Arietta, and today it is my favourite time of the month when I get to unbox the latest witch casket. For those of you that don't know, witch casket is a monthly subscription box. Um, it is sent from the UK. It is a mother-daughter small business um, run by witches for witches. <laughs> and um, I have been an avid fan now for a little over two years I've recently realized so um, yeah let's get inside this one and see what is in store for us this month okay so straight away we get our little booklet and that tells us that this particular casket for June 2024 is themed around the idea of potions. So as always, I'm going to pop this to one side, not going to look at it yet, but we'll come back and have a little look through here at the end. And I can see that we've got our art card. This is lovely. I really like these designs. Uh, really nice colour. It's like a sage green and then a deep lilac. Uh, so we've got some lunar water. We've got a little skeleton bottle there. We've got love used with caution. I like that. Really pretty. Got some mushrooms in this one. So these cards, um, they are to be used any way you like, but they do contain a monthly manifestation prompt on the back so that you can fill this in with your goals for the month, how you're going to achieve them sort of mundanely and what you're going to do magically to enhance those goals and your ability to reach them. And then it says the seeds are planted, intentions are set, I command that my desires be met. So um, yeah, as I say, you can use these any way you want, pop them on your altar, keep them in a journal, display them on a wall, it's entirely up to you. Oh, this looks like a sticker. Oh, is that a sticker? I think it might be. Uh, yes, oh, and that is a vinyl sticker. Lovely. I like that a lot. Uh, if you're anything like me though, committing to sticking a sticker somewhere is sometimes the problem. Um, every month we get a spell or ritual kit. This is a calming bath ritual containing all you need to wash away your stresses. It can also be used as a foot soap, so that's good. I do like the fact that they often consider those of us who perhaps don't have a bath um, or can't use a bath, and so there's always like an alternative option. Let's see what's in here. I can see some amethyst chips, they are very lovely. And then we've got two sachets here of herbs. One is passion flowers and one is rose petals. So we've got passion flowers in number one, <laughs> rose petals in number two. Um, so add the plants to the water and heat to a simmer, allowed to cool down to room temperature, then add the amethyst chips. Strain out the plants and amethyst and keep the infused water to add to your calming ritual bath water use within 24 hours. As you envelop yourself in the magical waters, feel your stresses ebb away. And it's got this lovely witch's brew picture on the back. That's very cool, I like that a lot. Just pop those bits back in there. Um, all of the casket items are made to be either reused or recycled. Um, there is a real emphasis on sustainability. Ooh, let's go for something. Oh, okay, this is new. Um, normally the scrolls come with a little sticker on them, uh, but this one has got a little ring. Rather like that. Does it fit? Yes. Excellent. I could end up with a little collection of these. <laughs> Okay, so uh, abundance potion. 
So this potion could be used as follows, to anoint candles, candles, and altar wear for use in spells for abundance. So it's orange pill, mint, and citrine. So you get a different scroll each month. And yeah, I keep mine in a folder now in plastic wallets. Um, some people frame there, some people cut them up, use them in scrapbooks, cut them up and stick them into their own books of shadows. There really is endless ways to use these. And they're always on lovely parchment paper. And as I say, usually you get a little sticker on them, but now we've got little rings. Um, okay, the glass potion bottle is looking at me. So glass potion bottle, a perfect receptacle for your elixirs, potions, tinctures, and herb blends. Can be used as a spell bottle to fill with things to represent your intentions and manifest your desires. So. Oh, oh. I don't think you're ready for this. Oh, goodness. Look at this beauty. Oh, goddess, it's stunning those almost sun rays coming out of that pentacle there absolutely lovely it's pale blue tint to the glass cork in the top absolutely stunning love it love it love it um, if you've been here a little while you will have heard me say on a number of occasions that i am um, just a big fan of coloured glass and um, yeah this one does not disappoint <sighs> lovely okay um, let's oh I was thinking this was gonna be our pin badge but no we have got blue lace agate so we've got a lovely stone here really pretty nice piece good size Nicely tumbled, fits nicely in the hand. So blue lace agate, the perfect stone to raise your vibrations and encourage positivity, tranquility, harmony, and appreciation. It's gentle, soothing, and stabilizing energy encourages self-confidence and calmness under pressure. I have often recommended this um, blue lace agate um, as a, a good pocket stone for job interviews can help you to just <laughs> bring your energy down a little bit but also to perform well under pressure so okay where do we go next this one okay a simmering potion blend for good fortune an enchanting blend of jasmine chamomile and strawberry leaf add to water and heat to a simmer strain to remove the plants which can be returned to the earth with gratitude Use the infused water as a good fortune potion to anoint candles, altar tools, or to add to ritual baths, etc. To help attract your desired effects. So, so this is, yeah, I'll just I'm gonna get it to come down without coming out. So you can see we've got a mixture of flowers and herbs in there lovely it smells amazing i think it's the strawberry leaf that i can smell coming through there very nice indeed okay uh, right pin badge that's what i thought the other one was so this is our enamel pin again it's a monthly regular come on focus Again, this is a monthly regular. This one is particularly lovely. A nice potion bottle with a moon symbol on it and what looks like maybe an emerald stopper in the bottle. Very nice indeed. It's got a single, um, single pin on the back. Very nice. Okay. Enchanting altar cauldron. Use this magical altar cauldron to brew herbs, simmering potions, and burn oils, etc. Never leave unattended. Oh, okay. This 
is ceramic, this little bowl here. It's got the Witch Casket logo on the bottom. Lovely, it's got like an earthenware kind of look to it. And then, oh, oh it's making sense now. So this little guy will fit in the top. And then you can pop a tea light underneath to heat up your potion. So it's like a tiny little Bunsen burner. <laughs> How lovely. It's really nice. And I've I've never seen one like that. So that's that's really lovely. Yeah. Very nice indeed. Okay. We are nearly done. We have got pentacle tea light candles. So tea lights are perfect for simple house magic and are a great way to attract what you need into your home. We chose white candles for this as they can be used for any spell or ritual. Set your intentions and visualize your desires met. So again, they give you everything that you need. And oh, look at these, they're lovely. Really, really nice. Not scented at all. They are soy wax, 100%. And so you can just imagine maybe having one of those under there, providing a little sacred flame for your spell casting. And we've got three in this packet. These are lovely. Um, this is probably a good time to mention that once you are a subscriber to the Witch Casket, you not only get your monthly casket, but also you get access to their Emporium, which allows you to buy items from past caskets um, that you may have missed or just that you want more of. I am thinking that these candles are gonna be particularly popular in the Emporium. Um, so yeah, once you're a member, you get the access to the Emporium. You also get monthly downloads um, of printables, spell sheets, wallpapers for your phone, all sorts of goodies. Um, so it's not just the box. You're getting a bunch of other stuff as well. Okay, final item other than the little noodles. This is, ooh, what's this? Oh, it's a tiny spoon. Oh, that's adorable. And it's got this little decal in, I don't know, is that, it is, I was wondering if it was just a deck out, but no, that is in fact etched or carved into the wood there, that little potion bottle. Really lovely. And this, it is the most light and delicate thing. Wow, that, that's really lovely. I like that a lot. And again, just, you know, the attention to detail with the packaging always always makes me happy so we will go back through the little booklet just to make sure that I didn't miss any important details I don't think I did there was nothing too confuzzling um, so What have we got? Enchanting Altar Cauldron, Glass Potion Bottle, Potion Spoon. Um, simmering Pot Blend. Potion Die Cut Sticker. Designed by Faye, who also designs their postcards and their um, bits and pieces. Um, Pentacle Tea Light. Bath potion, blue lace agate, luna, bottle enamel pin, abundance potion parchment scroll, potions, elixirs, tinctures, art print. Yeah, all spells and rituals are created by Witch Casket's co-founder Deb, an experienced practicing witch exclusively for Witch Casket. So there we go. And if you want to look up more information about previous caskets or see what other people are doing then you can search the hashtag witch casket or witch casket feature online and you will find what everybody else is getting up to so these are 
really lovely. I have yet, I, I don't want to tempt fate, but I've yet to be disappointed by a witch casket. I always feel like I get value for money. I'm always getting items that I've not seen anywhere else. Um, a number of the items are exclusive to the casket, but I've never even seen similar elsewhere. Um, and yeah, I'm as always so, so happy. So please do go and check them out if I've sparked your interest in a little bit of magic. It's great for beginners um, to get a little bit of magical equipment every single month. But also if you're a seasoned practitioner, then um, I find that getting these things every month just sparks something in me that makes me want to go and you know, set up a new altar design or try a new spell. There's always something that I haven't thought of. So um, it is well worth it, whether you are a beginner or you've been around the block a few times. So thank you for joining me. I do hope you've enjoyed this. If you have, please do all those YouTube -y things. Leave a like, share with a friend, comment if you would tell me what you would like best out of all of these items. I don't think I could pick this time. I really don't. Um, my instinct is to say the bottle but then I always say the glass bottle so maybe the cauldron just because it's so unusual so yeah let me know down below what is your favorite and until next time stay crafty